next February is Low Vision Awareness Month. We'll look at a technique uh, and some technology that helps the visually impaired. Yeah, Pat, here at Lighthouse Guild, you know, they've been doing it for more than 100 years, helping folks gain independence who have low vision and attain their goals. And in this case, making sure they know about all of the technology available to help them on their everyday life. We'll tell you more coming up when the news continues from right here at Lighthouse Guild on the west side. Assistive technology is being developed every day to better help those with low vision to maintain independence and maximize what they are able to see. Uh, Roger spoke with some patients at the Lighthouse Guild, which has been providing services for those who are visually impaired for more than a century. And he's with us from their eye care center on the Upper West Side. Good morning, Roger. Well, hey, Pat, good morning. Yeah, where else, if you want to talk to folks who are using this technology on a daily basis right here at Lighthouse Guild, again, they've been doing it for many years. It is Low Vision Awareness Month, and getting the word about all this technology that could be so helpful for folks with low vision. Back, button, NCIS, Hawaii, heading. Lighthouse Guild Chief Technology Officer Dr. Brian Walensky is showing patient Angela Delgado a device called Cable Easy, which makes it easier for her to use her smartphone. Delgado has glaucoma, which has led to vision loss, and uses several adaptive devices to help her in her daily routine. Some of the technology, like my, my phone, I used to always use Google Assistant. So now I'm learning how to use the TalkBack. It's like an accessibility app. It helps me navigate from place to place on the screen and it reads the text out loud to me. Delgado is just one of the patients here at Lighthouse Guild who are being introduced to technology to assist them. The organization empowers people with vision impairment to attain their goals. Really doesn't even matter level or type of eye disease someone has or type of vision loss. It's really about meeting their individual goals, having that professional evaluation, and then matching the technology up to the individual. Meta, what's, look and tell me the menu in front of me. Bill Graham, who's a low vision patient and also volunteers at Lighthouse Guild, uses a variety of tech items, including Ray-Ban Meta glasses, which can take a picture and describe through audio what is in front of the person wearing them. It's very important because I've, I've lost my ability to read, but I see certain shapes and I, I see you, I, I can see your outline and things, but I can't read. So now I can find out what's on the menu, but I, I can ask, is there steak on the menu? And what are the prices? And they tell you the prices. Move document up or your head down. For Angela Delgado, the assistive technology has been a huge help during a time when she is still adjusting to losing her vision. I can't run from vision loss because vision loss is with me everywhere I go. So it's like running from me and I want to live today and live a, a quality of life, not a, you know, not a life of, you know, despair. As Delgado says, it's another step forward in her life and she must keep going no matter what happens. Find out more about all of this technology or make an appointment for a low vision exam at lighthouseguild.org. Right, and Lighthouse Guild located right here on West 64th Street near West End Avenue between West End and Amsterdam. And Pat, and Pat, incredible story about Bill, real quick, about the fact that he's so tech savvy is that he, you know, his Apple Watch actually saved his life, detected that he was having some trouble with his heart. And the, he woke up the next morning, the watch basically told him, go to the emergency room and, uh, and saved his life. So, you know, some of these, uh, these items can work pretty good when it comes to all the things like that. It is remarkable technology, things that wouldn't have been possible just a few years ago. Uh, Roger, thank you. Yep.